Hello and welcome to another Raggies uh, beer review over in the uh, tap room on a bloody cold night. We're all on spring and summer. Piss this winter off. So, uh, from Uprising Craft Brewery, it's Treason. It's their West Coast IPA, uh, ABV of 6%. Uh, it's back! <laughs> Yes. So the West Coast, an untamed wild frontier where storms blow in and winds whisper words of treason, the start of uprising. Treason is an awesome West Coast IPA, burning bronze in colour with a big hop aroma that gives way to a lingering spicy bitterness. The 2015 International Beer Challenge, yeah, award winner. So that's nice, you know, a gold award winner there, as you can see on the bottle. Uh, oh, gosh, it's bloody cold. Um, oh, I've just about had enough of the cold weather. Got to be honest, you know, there's there's a limit, and the limit is being breached. It's like, yeah. Do one now, please. Piss off and do one. So here we go. Here's the beer. Whew. Bronze coloured, gold coloured. Make your mind up yourself. Um, it's it. Colours are colours, aren't they? It's got half a centimetre of white head on there. It's a punchy aroma for definite. What you would call a West Coast aroma, really. Uh, it's quite clear, really, for you know, for a West Coast. Um, is it more of a modern, traditional West Coast and not a craft West Coast? The styles just make you chuckle at times, don't they? Uh, and the 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 lines and boundaries between styles is ever so um, changes ever so much. So it's, it's all good fun. There's a lovely smoothness to that, with a nice bite on the back end. Mm. I'm getting orange, um, a zesty coming through. Oh gosh, and it, I, you know, it, it is a cr absolute bloody cripplet. Well, I sometimes try and do two beer reviews or, or beer videos while I'm down the shed, and it, and it really is difficult sometimes because, because of the temperature. Um, but the beer wall, because the beer wall's behind me, it looks better than the kitchen where you know it's not quite the you know the place for a beer review and i don't like it anyway in the kitchen i'd rather be down here because i can talk as i please uh, and do as i please whereas in the in the house it's it's a different kettle of fish um and the battery's about to go soon so i need to watch that as well um Ooh, like I say, it's a good punchy, twangy beer. Um, I wouldn't say it was a full-on uh, West Coast IPA that, you know, really give you a good kick in those sort. But it's, for me, from a craft beer brewery, as what they are, uh, it comes across as a more subtle version of um, a West Coast. Um, what I'd, what I'd expect from <clears throat> a modern traditional brewery rather than uh, a craft beer brewery who, you know, who deliver. Uh, if there's anything craft beer breweries do on the majority, not all, you know, let's get that out there. On the majority, um, 
delivers when they deliver a West Coast RPA, it's Jesus Christ, it gives you a right kicking, and uh, this is more subtle kicking. But that said, not everybody wants a good kick in, you know, not everybody wants that type of flavour. I've got friends who are, you know, are big beer drinkers, love the world of beer and certain styles of beer they won't touch because it's too in your face. They prefer the modern traditional over the craft. Um, and obviously, you know, we all... Uh, uh, each to our own on that on that side of things. Jesus Christ, I'm cold. Um, <clears throat> so, like I say, a good punchy aroma on this. Definitely, uh, what I would class as a modern traditional. West Coast IPA, more so than a craft. Um, for me, a 4.1 out of 5. Yeah, good punch on it. Cheers all.